it's time for heavenly bodies on the beach. So if we're going to do heavenly bodies, we have to understand a little something about one-point perspective. We have essentially a one-point perspective uh, composition here with a vanishing point someplace right about here because we have this coming out, this coming out, this coming out, this sort of coming out, that we have somewhat of a one-point perspective. Now, what does that mean? This is a beach, and this beach is flat. The gulf is flat. The vanishing point is here. So, if we had, let's say, a telephone pole or a fence post, if we had a post that stood this high, we could draw a line from the top of the post to the vanishing point, bottom of the post to the vanishing point, and with proper placement, we could make it look like we had a fence that went all the way down the beach. And what would make the fence appear real is that if these fence posts theoretically were exactly the same height, let's say they were four feet tall, and every fence post was four feet, this four footer and this four footer would appear to be the same height, but in reality, this four footer would be about four inches tall and this one would be about an inch and a half tall because of the diminishing appearance as it go back, goes back in space. Now, if we had a tall, handsome dude like Scott, Anyhow, if, if Scott was walking about in his Speedo and he was, let's say Scott and I are the same height. Now, we all know that's not true. <laughs> I'm vertically challenged and I know it. But let's say that Scott and I were exactly the same height. I could put Scott's head right here. I've actually got Scott just a little bit taller than me because the top of his head is a little bit above the eye level. Now, if Scott is standing back there, how on, you know, where do I put his feet? Well, where I put his feet determines how far into the painting he is. I could put his feet here and have Scott occupy this much space, and I could do a portrait of Scott in his speedo standing right here but as it is for the sake of the brethren I'm going to put Scott far enough back here where I'm going to have him standing right here right now now we have to put that barrel chested handsome athletic dude that he is we're going to put him back here like this He's gotten a little wider at the hips, you can tell. But there's Scott back there that far. Now, Scott's lovely bride is a little bit shorter, right? So because Scott's bride is a little bit shorter, we're going to put her, her head is going to be a little bit below my eye level. See, this line that creates the horizon the horizon line is exactly the same as my eye level. Now, she's a little shorter than me. She's a little shorter than Scott. But she's standing right next to Scott. So I'm going to put her body in here. I'm going to start with just a, a little line. And now I put in the contours that are consistent with a lovely lady, an hourglass body. And there she is, standing next to Scott back in the distance. All right? Now, we can put more detail on this if we want. Now, let's say that there's another couple that is further away. And they're the same height as Scott and Scott's lovely bride. But they're standing at the water's edge. They are standing at the water's edge. Now, if that's the case, they're a little bit downhill 
from where I'm at as the artist and where Scott and his wife are as my subjects back here. So here's a guy who is the same height as Scott, but he is down on the very edge of the water. He's on the very edge of the water. He's downhill and he's there. The head is below because he's downhill. Here's this guy. He's further back. He's, he's further back yeah. and he's downhill. So he's shorter in reality and his wife is a little portly. <laughs> okay? But because they're downhill, you see, I brought the head down from the, uh, my eye level and I brought them downhill next to the water. If I wanted to put another person, say, closer, you know, I could put a person same height as Scott. The head would be almost the same spot, but the feet would be down here. In this case, we now have two heavenly bodies up here close by. Scott is a little embarrassed, so we're going to paint his face a little bit of reddish. What color did you use to make the... the I just, color? I just used uh, some raw sienna, burnt sienna, just to get a rusty color. Okay. Now I'm going to put a little bit of flesh color on there. Put a little flesh color on Mrs. Scott. Scott has gray hair. <laughs> I'm not going to I'm not going to bother with that detail. <laughs> I'm going to make him tall, dark and handsome. We don't need a lot of detail here. I'm going to We're going What color bathing suit do you wear, Scott? Always bright purple. Always bright purple. <laughs> Um, you'll have to forgive me, I'm unable to come up with a fluorescent color. Let's see. There's, you know, we put a, he's a little bit, he's got his arm on his hip. And this hand is behind his sweetheart. And what color bathing suit does she wear? Oh, she's Snow gotta white. have red. None? Snow white. Snow. White. Snow. <laughs> <laughs> okay. No. I'm gonna clean my brush work on the contours. Did that help you a little bit as far as proportions and whatnot? Okay, now just the final touch would be a little bit of a shadow on the beach. So there they are. Do thou likewise if you wish.